I'm Sharon. And I'm Gary. And we're Rough Road RV Life. And we are in Oklahoma. And currently we are in 51 degrees of weather, 20 to 30 mile on our winds, gusting to 40, with rain in the forecast. But we are going to show you some photos of a bright sunny day that we had in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Right. Hope you enjoy it. We like looking at freedom. See you on the road. So how did we end up in Hot Springs, Arkansas? Well, we were staying at nearby Lake Washita State Park, which is an amazing park. And you can check out our review of that park down below. But we were staying there. It was only 15 miles away, and we wanted pancakes. So naturally, we headed to Hot Springs. A word about the pancake shop. The pancakes were delicious. They were huge, as large as a plate, but do come prepared because everything there is a la carte. So, while it was an amazing breakfast, it was a pricey breakfast, but it was worth it. When we headed out on this little venture, we thought that Hot Springs National Park was somewhere in the middle of the woods. And, you know, we would there might be some hiking and that sort of thing. But no, Hot Springs National Park is right downtown Ar Hot Springs, Arkansas. So obviously we didn't do our research before we headed out on this day trip, but you can do your research. Here is the link to Hot Springs National Park website, and it's a very comprehensive website. It talks about the history of each of the bathhouses. It talks about um, the hit, the the history of Hot Springs, the role it played in the Civil War. It's, it also has some interactive aspects to it. So it's a great website. Wish I'd have known about it ahead of time. But also, it tells you what to do if you have two hours, half a day, or a whole day. Well, we only had a couple of hours because we needed to do a grocery pickup later that day at Walmart, and our dogs were home alone. So we were able to walk down Bathhouse Row, taste and feel the warm springs, walk the Grand Promenade Trail, and tour the Fordyce House, which is a National Park Visitor Center. Which one was our favorite? Well, touring the Fordyce Bathhouse was our favorite. We gained so much knowledge from walking around these three floors with exhibits of what it was like back in the day when the bathhouse was in operation. It was really interesting to see the different um, contraptions that they had back then. Another thing that we really liked about the Fordyce bathhouse is that it is free to tour the three floors there. The men, the ladies and the gentlemen, they had separate dressing rooms and it was interesting that the men's dressing rooms had more dressing areas than the ladies did. That they had to add more to the ladies dressing room area. What services did they offer? Many services. Massage therapy and they used electrotherapy as part of their massage therapy. I don't think I would go for that one. They had a gymnasium. So you could go there and work out with the weights. They had equipment, the forerunners to our modern day gym equipment. The Fordyce bathhouse was the only bathhouse to have a bowling alley. You could utilize the saunas. They also had the Hubbard tub, which was hydrotherapy, and the wooden platform you see there would lower the patient down into the water. And this was a way to help patients who may need physical therapy or occupational therapy, those type things. Another service offered was chiropody. It sounds funny. I did look it up, but chiropody is treatment of the feet, different ailments of the feet. 
These included foot massage, pedicures, treatment of corns, bunions, and other foot problems. I would have went there as a hiker. Everywhere you look, there is attention to detail. Beautiful marble. Marble molding. This fountain isn't originally an original. It was originally flowing with water in the early days. All throughout the Fordyce bathhouse, you will find beautiful towel work. Arched windows, wood molding. If you love old buildings, you will love the detail that's in this bathhouse. Beautiful stained glass. There was so much more that I did, didn't even get a chance to take pictures of. You, I would recommend spending a day here. We only had a couple of hours and we saw a lot, but a day would have been nice. Moving outside, we did get to see the warm spring water. It is flowing out of the mountain at an average temperature of 143 degrees. That's pretty hot. The water that we felt was warm, not scalding hot, but we felt it coming out of this dripping spring, which was right beside the tunnel spring that you just saw. This is a hotel that was across the street. This hotel I would have loved to gone in side and just look around because as lovely as it is on the outside I can only imagine what it's like on the inside and probably the same could be said for all the other bathhouses on bathhouse row we only had time to go into one but you can go into some of the bathhouses today and get a bath they are just, they are still doing that we didn't do that we didn't have time to do that but we did enjoy bathhouse row. So that's bathhouse row. And there's a little informational kiosk in front of each one and it tells about the individual bathhouse. But we left bathhouse row and headed around to the Grand Promenade Trail, which is a trail up the hillside and you can look down over the street below. It's nice and wide and has little overlook areas. And if you're really adventurous, you can head on to, there's a, a tower you can hike to on the mountain. We only had time to do the Grand Promenade Trail, so we strolled along that. And you can just imagine what it was like back in the day with the ladies and gentlemen dressed in their finest, strolling along that trail. Winding up our tour of Hot Springs, Arkansas, we saw people getting water from these faucets. This is where the water from the warm springs is flowing out and you can, you can fill your water bottle, drink it, take it with you. So we did. We took two bottles of water back to our camp with us and drank the healthy warm spring water. We enjoyed our visit to Hot Springs, Arkansas. We like looking at freedom. We'll see you on the road.